What's up friends? Tuesday, back in here for rehearsal. Um, so a couple cool things, we are flipping a song. We're doing um, We Are Free this weekend and we're gonna flip it and make it more interesting. I don't know if we're gonna go like gospel -y grooves or like EDM, but we're kind of change it up. Curtis is tracking some stuff out. And then I got a new cymbal today, replacing the 20 inch on that side. So this is a 20 inch thin um, heritage raw bell. So a little darker, nice and full, but I had this 20 inch brilliant for a long time, but it's got a crack in it here, as you can see. So my guy over at Samson, Tim, the man, hooked me up. Actually, uh, un unboxed the day and Travis caught my video, I'll show you, but I got like a hat and a shirt and a symbol. So appreciate it, appreciate all the goodies. But yeah, um, it sounds great, it's nice and full. I may order some thinner symbols, some really, really thin symbols, just because we're having you know, an open kit here. So um, may go even thinner, but loving having the Mapex on board. This week was awesome, sounded great, and uh, looking forward to using it, so. I'll give you another look, just cause I can't get enough. What's up guys, it's Saturday night. Heading up to the church to get a little rehearsal in. It's like 9, 15 p.m. Um, Curtis just uh, sent out a track earlier today uh, reference for tomorrow, but uh, my wife and I, I spoke at a, a college age event for some great friends of ours in Corpus Christi uh, last night, so I didn't get a chance to work on anything. So just come up here now to try to punch it out. So here we go. So I get asked a lot about how I get the audio for uh, my videos, and short answer is we have a Yamaha M7 CL board, which is not a new board. It's pretty old by uh, this point as far as soundboards go. Um, but we run Dante into a an old, another old piece of equipment, a Mac, uh, I guess it's Mac Pro, the tower. Um, but we got this thing tricked out with RAM and SSD drive and stuff. So basically um, Dante is like, you just plug these two cards in the back and it goes ethernet into the computer. So you can track into any software, but we use Logic. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so if you're asking how do I, you know, how to get audio or what to do, the first thing is to look up your board at your church and see if it's a digital board, chances are there's some way to get, um, you know, a mix from it, especially if you'd like the Behringer boards, X32s, you can multi-track straight to a thumb drive on those. Um, so almost every digital board has some setup for this. So just check it out Google it, do some research and um, you can figure it out for yourself um, for whatever your setup is. But yeah, that's how we multi-track. So we multi-track, get every you know um, stem, or we have up to 32 channels, and uh, then I can go through and mix it and everything. So yeah, that's what we do. So digging through uh, this "We Are Free" track, the remix got the spotlight on me here feeling good about it really the intro is kind of the biggest part i wanted to figure out the rest of it the grooves are not too crazy it's all pretty straightforward so you'll hear it a little bit in this uh the rest of this vlog but i'll post the song too if we get it on the multi-track if it doesn't crash or anything um so yeah i'm just gonna run through the rest of the stuff um and i'm loving again this symbol man it's just such a great mixture of uh you know attack and wash 20 inch light just got just enough attack to cut through with the gospel stuff 20 inch but it's super washy it's super crashable um, and it just sits so great with the other symbols so love it i kind of have this i've kind of a hybrid set so you know 14 inch hats 9 inch splash 17 inch crash all very super gospel but then over here 21 inch ride which you know not too bad but it's got kind of a steeper bell but yet super crashable and then a 20 inch crash so this is a little more, you know, you could say CCM. And this is kind of random, but I just love this stack, 18 over 20. So I say it all the time, but I keep getting questions. So I figured I would just keep answering them. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like gospel meets contemporary a little bit. Um, but I'm loving it. Again, 14, 10, 12, 16, 14. So 
yep, a little more rehearsal and uh, we'll be out for the night and we'll be back here in the morning. Good morning. Do you see this uh, fogging up? I just wanted to give you a little taste. This is Houston. This is what happens when you walk outside in Houston. Imagine you're wearing glasses right now. This is what you see every day when you walk outside in Houston. Yes, it's that humid all the time. This is Houston. Is this damaging to my lens? Probably. Still not perfect. Yeah, super humid. I'll check back with you when I get inside. All right, back in the sanctuary. It's like 7.15 now. Uh, I'm gonna work on the remix again. Um, I posted this somewhere or said this, I can't remember what uh, format I said this or medium I said it on, but um, when I rehearse or work on a song, especially a new song, um, I like to learn it like I like to have a session or however many sessions it takes to learn it. But then after I know the song, I like to sit down at least three times with it because to me that helps really cement the muscle memory of the fill or idea where I don't have to really think about it. It's kind of second nature um, because when I'm, when I'm locked in on what I plan to do on my ideas, um, that's when I can really focus and listen to the rest of the band and kind of play off of other guys, like play off of Drew on the bass. If he's doing something, I can pick up on it and listen. Otherwise, I'm just so locked in to try to remember what I'm playing that it's like I don't even, have, I don't even pay attention. I don't even enjoy playing with the rest of the band. I'm just trying to remember my thing. So um, I feel pretty good. I kind of really dug out the intro fill and the rest of the groove. So I'm going to go over those again. And then the other songs, just the orders, um, when I drop in, that kind of stuff. So. Got about an hour before the rest of the guys get here, so it gives me plenty of time to get all my camera stuff set for you guys, um, and then rehearse everything I need to before we get started. So it's gonna be a great day, looking forward to it. Let's go. Well, that's a wrap for today. Uh, had a super great set. Man, just an awesome service in general. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. Um, also, follow me on Instagram, at DK Bernard. Uh, a lot of times I'll share kind of stuff on my stories as it's happening if you want to kind of keep up. So I'll show you a little bit of that now. forget to like share subscribe if you haven't already subscribed please do so follow along I got tons more videos vlogs live performances all that kind of stuff so thanks for hanging out and we'll see you guys in the next one